this picture I took this picture from my I think Jason Black's uh, community uh, tab and shit I, you know I'm just letting you know I took the fucking picture because I looked at the picture and then you know I thought about well you know I've been making videos for a couple years now called the alopecia chronicles and this is why this is the epitome of why I make the videos that I do and shit because you know you know the brothers man the black man we really have nobody you know, we have no one to protect and defend us and shit, nor should we, okay? It's up to us to write the ship, okay? And by writing the ship, I mean that, you know, a lot of bitches is going to have to walk the plank and shit. When I see this shit, I just chuckle to myself because it's like an old video and you look at the picture and you can see that pockets. he looks kind of annoyed, okay? He's like, man, I got this little bitch under my wing. I don't want her there, okay? She's like the... The white shit that gets under your armpit when you use a, a fucking aerosol, you know, spray on you. You know, we use like, a, you know, Lysol, <laughs> whatever the fuck, man. Sorry, I'm tripping. Yeah, I look at the picture and the first thing I thought about was like, like, black women are so fucking cruel. Okay, they are cruel. They have a patent on the shit. You know, we innovate every goddamn thing in culture. You know, they have innovated misandry to an art form. It's genetic, okay? I know for a fact that this shit is genetic, okay? And knowing what I know, I don't feel any guilt when I make a video dragging the fuck out of uh, any particular subject that happens to land on their, on their doorstep, okay? All right? I don't feel an ounce of fucking guilt, okay? When I look at shit like this, I... I think about Will Smith and shit and, you know, all this shit that happened and how sh this woman brought him down like the House of Usher, you know, and she got to take her flowers for that. And I think I'll do that when I make a fucking video. Every time I make a motherfucking video, you look deep in that motherfucking the running system, you know, see, find, you're going to find Jada Pinkett Smith right in the middle of that shit. This is her claim to fame. Okay, she is up there, one of the founding mothers of this bullshit, this race war Bullshit, okay? Well, Oprah was on that motherfucking Mount Rushmore 
Jada got her ass up there too. Gloria Stein on this shit. And the, the, the last, the last spot is a rotating uh, a cast of characters. Now you can start with Kimberly Crenshaw. All right, now I can keep going. But like when I saw this shit, I I thought about Will Smith, and I was just like thought about him coming home. You know, it's just a thought. Uh, you know, he comes home and, with that picture, and he just tells Jada like, "Hey, today's the day." <laughs> Today's the day, Jada. You're not getting a divorce or nothing. You couldn't, you know, you're going to get some domestic discipline and shit. And I'm going to be on the news and you're going to get all the money and shit, but I'm going to make it worth it. Okay. It's going to be worth it for me to go to jail. And, and you know, you, you can say all the stuff you want to say and empty out my closet and say, I've been doing, you know, um, you know, alternative things with my booty to keep my career going and shit. It's okay. I brought all that money and put it in. I gave you everything you wanted in fucking life. You bitch ass ain't happy. And you keep fucking with me and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought about Will saying that. Yeah, just like, like this kind of shit make me like, like the, the nigga gonna end up like being a suicide bomber in his own house. Just run that shit and blow his fucking shit off, man. Because she's so inhumanly cruel and no one ever confronts her about this straight up in her face. Okay, she's never brought to... You know, she's never brought to, to the court a public opinion and shit, except in a semi-favorable light. Okay, black women always discount each other's inhumane fucking cruelty to each other, but mostly and exclusively to black men, boys, even their babies in their fucking wombs. Okay? Yes, I was fishing. I don't think Tupac gave two shits. I don't think he gave two shit. She could be down there blowing him and he wouldn't have looked at her twice while she was doing it. You know, matter of fact, he probably pulled a Frank Sinatra on her. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but, you know, Frank would sleep with, Frank Sinatra would sleep with women. I saw this in a biography of his uh, driver or whatever. He would sleep with women and then put like a sheet or a bag on their head and tap on a wall or something. And the driver would just come grab the woman like a bag of garbage and take her out. And that was that. It was Frank. <clears throat> and I think uh, Jada would get that fucking treatment from Pac. Okay, he's not dragging his fucking ass. He's dead, Jada. He's dead. Okay? He lived his life and shit. He, he found fame and fortune, did some, you know, unadvised shit. You know, ended up passing away because he didn't keep his head on the fucking swivel. And he didn't check that fat nigga that was sitting there driving the car. I'm just tired, man. Fuck these women, man. Keep your head on a swivel. Protect your bag above all costs, because that's what they want. They want your money. They want to get your money, and they want to use it to fuck around and, you know, spendthrift it and shit. They want to splurge. They want to buy shit with it. They want to act like assholes, like they're the queens of the universe, when they look like children. They look like children. I'm finna go somewhere and shit. But I saw this video, I saw this picture, and obviously it triggered my ass. Okay? I don't know when you're going to be hearing this recording. But I'm telling you, like, did I watch this shit? And I just, like, see a Will, like, with a fucking, Will, like, with a, with a fucking uh, bomb on itself, running that bitch, just fucking just blow his own shit off. It's so disgusting. I'm tired of it. You fucking women ain't going to change until you're looking at each other by yourself. And you can make a world by yourself. Maybe you'll evolve where you can get each other pregnant and be each other's baby's daddies and tell each other that black women ain't shit because they make babies' mamas and shit. While brothers off building a new fucking society that actually works. Like the one that we had before you guys betrayed us. Okay? And, and you know, you looked at the Mondale report and then you got scared and then you went full blast and here we are today. All right? Fuck you, Jada Pinkett Smith, but thank you for giving all of these channels that I have a purpose and a reason to exist. My kings, keep your head on a swivel. Seriously, protect your motherfucking bag like Fort Knox. Okay? Protect that shit. And above all else, and I do mean above all else, you protect your seed. Okay? Don't have... Children with these fuckheads, okay? Don't have children with them. Please protect your future and your legacy. I'm out.
This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.